you can hear me. Um, the sound you hear is my coffee pot. And I'm just tired of trying to find the right moment to record. Because that's why you haven't seen me. As you know, I have three kids now. <laughs> and it, it really is hard to get that moment where I can do myself up and all those things. So since making my coffee in the morning seems to be the only time it's just me without any of my kids because they're still sleeping, screw it. I'm going to record in the kitchen. So please pay no mind to the mess behind me. Uh, this is a very well lived in house. And I don't even know where to start. I'm still waiting on my coffee. It's my cup's empty. There's no coffee in here. Without coffee in here, this won't, what's the word I'm looking for? Function at all. So I'm still waiting on my coffee. But last video I posted at the beginning of this year, or maybe March, I don't even know. I was so excited for 2020. You remember this? Do you remember this? If you've seen it, you remember this. I was so excited about 2020. This is it. This is the year. This is my year. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be everywhere. You're gonna see me a lot. La, 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 la. And then 2020 happened. Twenty twenty. Twenty freaking twenty. I'm sure I don't have to go into 2020 at all at this point especially being that we're so close to the end of the year and I feel like we're all waiting for the end of the year we're all like done with 2020 I understand I feel I have to hang on to the idea that this will blow over too and I'm sorry I haven't been around and I haven't been here. I haven't given you guys the content you deserve or the content that I promised this year, but I feel like we all could use a little forgiveness on not being the way we normally would be this year because of this year. And 2020 sucks. Apart from the good things that have happened this year, 2020 sucks. I had a baby this year. I have a 2020 baby. She's almost eight months now, eight and a half months, almost nine months now. I had a baby this year in March and I saw, I can't even, okay, you know what? I'm gonna have my coffee and then we're gonna talk. So don't go anywhere because this is gonna be a, a day in the life, Thanksgiving, COVID-19 edition, yay. Uh, that's what this is gonna be. I think we could all use a, a friend to talk to. We're all kind of hurting in here a lot. We're all hurting right right here, right in the heart. Um, so I'd rather be real with you guys like I've always promised I'd be than to not be. I feel like I'm just, my coffee's done. This year sucks. I, I can't even form a thought right now. In honesty to you guys. Because this year sucks. But uh, this will be my first kind of day in a life thing, I guess. And I'm, you know, it, let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. I don't know. But I'm, I'm not gonna, I can't go put makeup on and all those things. I, I got too much to do and that's exactly why I haven't been recording. I, there's just too much to do. I thank you so much for all you subscribers. Oh my god. I've, ne I've never 700 and something. I know that's small potatoes to all these big wigs out there and all the, I shouldn't call them that, but big time YouTubers and influencers. That's you know, that's this compared to this with them. But to me, it matters. So 
You guys are my tribe. All 700 and some of you. you. You're my tribe. And I'm I'm so thankful for that. And I hope I can always be honest, open with you guys. And hopefully this... I don't know. Maybe I can turn this to the coffee segment. Because this, this, this is nice. Talking. And there's no kids. There's no kids around to interrupt me. To need something. Oh, it's so nice. Anyway... This is usually what happens when I try to get things done for my career. There's just too much to do around the house. I eat laundry. I, I just did la I just did laundry. And it's laundry time again. <laughs> so I always make the plans to do well career-wise, to work on my shop, to work on some art. But there's usually so much to do for the family throughout the day that I never really get to it till the sun's already gone down trying to break that but sometimes it just can't be helped and that's stay-at-home mom life for you how are you always watching me my main goal today is to make products for my shop. That's all I want to do today. Thursdays for cooking, that's all I want to do. And this is usually what happens. I can never get around to it. Um, she now is like dying for my attention. I can give her some love, enough to where when I put her down she won't cry. And that's my goal net right now. Why am I saying all this? Because I know I'm not the only person out there that is trying to accomplish something and because accomplishing something sometimes makes us feel like um the day was worth it and that's where i'm having trouble I, I and and normally it gets me feeling really 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 low if i can't get something accomplished and i'm here to tell you it's okay it's okay if it's taking you twice as long to get something done that you're trying to get done it's okay if you can't get to it until nighttime. It's okay because life happens. And if we don't leave some space in life to accept that life's going to happen and things aren't always going to go as planned, if they ever go as planned, then we would be miserable. We would still be striving for perfection and perfection's boring. And that's just my own personal opinion. You do what you can with the time you have. So I'm gonna play with her now and feed her, her more lunch because uh, I'm not producing enough breast milk. So feed her some more lunch. Can you say hi? And then um, go from there. Eat lunch myself. I'm pretty hungry. Uh, and I believe Batman will be home for lunch here in a minute. So that's the other thing. I I, uh, I don't even, I, well, I can go on and on. Life never goes as planned, even when you're at home. But I'm determined to at least get the shea butter done and I'll just keep drag you guys along to see what I do get accomplished today go from there maybe then I can get the stuff off my I gotta do some admin work some computer work from my art channel for my art um, business and then hopefully by then she'll be taking a nap and when she goes to sleep, it's no whole bar. Just whatever I can get done, I get done. So, fingers crossed. But right now, I really gotta get, I gotta get lunch cooking now. So, here we go. I guess she changed her mind on the nap. So, now I got the mind control device on. Um, baby Einstein's toys. See if it'll keep her happy, because I have to get some work done. Look at my desk. This is a mess. I, I have work to do. I have goals to complete and um, it's 
sometimes you just have to find a way to improvise. I'm not getting giving up on getting something done um, and she seems to be okay right now so <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts uh, so um, for Instagram I pretty much take each one and crop them down so that uh, each crop picture is one panel and that's I have to do it that way or um, I can't get them posted And then I give it its title and do all that for each one. Here's one that I just finished. It was all one as well. And I broke them down into and cropped them down and shared them as a throwback Thursday on Instagram because I already posted it a couple years ago. And yeah, so that's just, that's how I do things when it comes to my illustrations and sharing them online uh, on my Instagram and such, which if you're curious or interested, I'll have all that below, but yeah. I still feel bad. This is part of my job. This is part of my career, posting my illustrations, but it still doesn't feel like I've accomplished enough yet. So I think I'm looking for that feeling. Maybe that's why I keep talking about it today. I'm looking for that feeling. And um, I should be proud of all my accomplishments, even if they're not towards the my career and my dreams. At least I got laundry going. At least I know what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. At least I know my kids are fed. <laughs> so, you gotta celebrate the little wins, especially um, during a stay at home order of any kind. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. You belong to me. I can have you whenever I want. I can have you whenever I want. Recorded you. <laughs> I got all that on video now. Yes, really. <laughs> no. Okay, so. It's 12.13, it's pretty late. I didn't get around to doing the hair stuff. Um, my husband came home, we ended up talking for a long time, binge watching one of our favorite shows, and uh, before I knew it was time to cook dinner. So. so tomorrow we'll try again. But for now, I'm gonna relax. I still need to twist my hair down again. This is what it looks like by the end of the day, poofed out and tired. And um, tomorrow Thanksgiving. Tomorrow I'm making a lot of food just for me and my family and I will see you then.
Mom and I Dad. just caught my family talking about me. <laughs> no, it's good. When I came to cook for Thanksgiving dinner, and they're in here talking about me. No. You see what I have to put up with? No. Do you it, see what I have to put up with? We were talking with? about Do like you how... see? And you guys heard me yesterday how hard it is around here. You heard me. And this is what I walk in on. Like okay, that's <laughs> told you I'm recording everything. <laughs> no, everything. We were talking for Thanksgiving. about like you were talking about how cheese. <laughs> Hi. Winter is coming. Okay, you're probably wondering what this is, so I figured I'd share. This is my cookbook, because I love it. It's one of my cookbooks, I have a few. But this is pretty much my, my, my teenager wanted to help, so I told her I had to make a checklist for her, just so I'm not asking, or she's not asking so many questions, because I don't do well with teaching, but I know a lot, and each one teach one. So I modified it for her so that I don't have to do much except say the bit that I'm going to say anyway, which is probably a lot. So anyway, we're not doing Thanksgiving turkey this year because neither one of us really like turkey. None of us do. So I'm doing a crock pot chicken with my homemade lemon pepper au jus sauce. Um, I'm doing what I call a harvest roast, which is what Chi Chi's working on right now. And those are supposed to be cut. And, um, cut? yes, cut. Oh. And, um, like sliced. Like, Down the... oh. just a few, not super small. And as you can see, I'm, I'm teaching as I'm talking to you. But yeah, I call it a harvest roast. It's just a recipe I made with uh, carrots, potatoes, celery, sometimes broccoli. And then I roast it in the oven with a little bit of oil and some seasonings. And at the very end, I use some of the au jus sauce, a little bit of flour to thicken it up. Put it on top of all of it and then i have a nice little veggie roast um i'm also doing a pork shoulder ham which i haven't gotten to on the list as far as what i'm writing but you know it's time my daughter's 15 now it's time for her to start learning how to cook something <laughs> so it's time for her to start learning how to cook some things i'm also making um which i had written down already my homemade sweet rolls so we're gonna make that today so hey guys happy thanksgiving Tomorrow is Native American Heritage Day. So, in honor of that, I wear my feather on Thanksgiving and on that day because it matters to me. In honor of my Choctaw and Cherokee blood, I'm gonna wear my feather. We're in the process of prepping food and cooking food, and it's like, it's four in the afternoon, so we had a late start. I am gonna set up my candle out there in the living room where I'll be and the candle I'll explain another day if you guys are interested but it's something that's really important to me and my heritage so yeah set that up now and then finish cooking and see if we can't find a way to entertain ourselves while food's cooking okay so far so good on this Thanksgiving day I got crock pot chicken on, I have my homemade au jus sauce, I have dough rising for two hours for sweet rolls, uh, I have my harvest roast right down there ready to throw in the oven, I still gotta make my homemade mac and cheese stuffing, and then that's it. Oh, and there's a, a ham roast in the oven, so a shoulder roast, so all good things, can't wait to eat, so hungry. And even though normally I make myself starve until I eat food, I do have a bowl of noodles on right now. So that's what's going on. I hope you guys are having a good Thanksgiving so far. Thanksgiving, COVID, stay at home edition. Woohoo! Hey guys, so it is 
day after Thanksgiving. And I just realized I didn't sign off properly or tell you how my Thanksgiving went. But hopefully the video clips will show you just how well Thanksgiving went. Um, that's better. <laughs> anyway, um... I, I'm pretty sure you you guys had as good of a Thanksgiving as you could have. I know we did. We did our best. We just ate good until we were nice and sick. And then we all crashed. I think we all went to bed really early last night. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask. Uh, if there's certain type of videos you'd like to see, let me know. Um, if you're into the art channel or if you're into art videos or watching the art process, please check out my art channel. I'll have the link down below as well. But as always, like, subscribe, join my tribe, and thanks for stopping by. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. <laughs>